so like, where did the idea for Krampus come from? Uh, well, he's a character from folklore, sort of. Um, he's a bit of a leftover from pagan beliefs and celebrations, mm -hmm. and uh, I first discovered him via the Krampus greeting cards that used to get sent out in the 1800s and the early 1900s. Um, they started floating around on the internet, and it was just sort of love at first sight. And I knew it was the basis for uh, a Christmas horror movie back then, but it took years to really crack the story and figure out exactly what it was. Um, obviously, you know, it has the spirit of Amblin movies and things like that. Was there any TV shows or movies that influenced the visual style of the film? Uh, a lot of the Amblin movies. So Gremlins and Poltergeist, probably the two biggest ones, I would say, but then also a lot of Christmas movies. Home Alone, National Lampoon's Vacation. Um, it's that contrast of, in the juxtaposition of those two things that I think really works. Um, for a film like this that has to work on a comedic level, uh, a family level, a horror level, how do you go about sort of getting the right tone and getting the right blend? Was it the case of sort of getting that right in the editing room and sort of, I mean, you've got the script, you've got the performances, but then it was the editing room to sort of tweak everything and make it work? Well, it was, um, it affected everything. So from casting to production design to music, costume design, uh, it was always about making sure that there was a balance between those two tones. So even when we were designing Krampus's elves, Krampus himself, the toys, um, it was about, okay, they have to be playful and dark and mischievous, but they still have to be scary. Um, with the score, it was the same thing, working with Douglas Pipes, my composer, you know, we wanted Christmas melodies and themes, but then it has to devolve into Bernard Herrmann-esque screeching violins and things like that. Um, so, it, so every department knew that th those were the marching orders, to make sure the tone between scary and funny was always carefully kept in check. Um, what would you say is the perfect item of festive food and drink to enjoy while watching the movie? Eggnog and gingerbread men. <laughs> really gingerbread men? Mm -hmm. You might get terrified. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> um, uh, aside from Krampus, uh, what is your favorite Christmas film? A Christmas Story. Because I think it really captures what it's like to be a kid around Christmas. And uh, final question. In your opinion, what is the greatest Christmas song ever and why? Hmm. Oh, jeez, that's a really good one. Uh, I might have to say Silent Night, because I think it's, it's a very calming song. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little bit mournful. But, uh, yeah, I think it really captures the tone nicely. But I'll have to, I have to say that the as an album, nothing beats the Charlie Brown Christmas album as a whole. Like That's the first thing I put on right around late November, yeah.